Today, as you can see, I am going to be doing a mukbang. This is actually like my first time ever doing a mukbang, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I wanted to give it a try just because it seemed fun and something nice, something different for my channel, so why not? So today, I will be eating Chinese food. Um, I got this from two different restaurants, so I got the egg rolls from Chinese Kitchen, which these are like my favorite egg rolls. Um, I love these egg rolls so very much. And this is just how the egg roll looks on the outside. And I did get that from Chinese Kitchen. I normally get the shrimp fried rice from Chinese Kitchen, but since I already had the orange chicken and this shrimp fried rice, I was like, it didn't make any sense to get it, which I kind of still wish I would have gotten it. But that's okay. So, like I said, I have the orange chicken and the shrimp fried rice with the egg roll. And to drink, I have a sweet tea. And for dessert, I wanted to dedicate my dessert and my first mukbang to my girl, Nicole. Because I was watching her video the other day. And she said her favorite cookie from Panera was the everything kitchen the everything kitchen sink i believe it's called or the kitchen sink so i went to panera bread and i got the kitchen sink cookie and she said that she liked to eat it and just think of being in paradise so i'm gonna eat this cookie and I'm going to just think of being in paradise with my sister, my girl, Nicole. I miss her so very much. And if you met her or you was on YouTube when she, you know, was still alive and everything and you was cool with her, you already know, like, her soul, her spirit, everything about her was just so genuine and so sweet and just so nice. And she loved food. She loved talking about food. She loved cooking food. She loved eating good food. And, you know, she she just loved food. So, I feel like this would be the perfect video to dedicate to her. And anyone out there who knew Nicole, who loved Nicole, I just want to challenge everyone to just go out. Maybe just, if you can, pick up the cookie from Panera and just think about her. Just eat it and just think about her. And she said sometimes she would just eat her food and she would just think about being, you know, like with her YouTube friends and stuff like that. So, hey, why not? So, let's just go ahead and get into this video. So, on my shrimp fried rice, I like to put the soy sauce. At um, Chinese Kitchen, they normally give you like this, um, the duck sauce in a cup. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I do not like this duck sauce that comes in the cup. So, I always trade it with them for the ones that come in a packet. But yeah, I just like to put the soy sauce. I never really use the whole packet. Well, soy sauce I use probably like half and then if I feel like I need some more I will just put some more but yeah so but yeah I don't really like the um the duck sauce in the cup I don't know but that's just my personal preference so I just ask them can I just get the um the packets instead of the cup Y'all, I'm hungry. Y'all, I stayed up all night. <laughs> I stayed up all night. I recorded a whole video. I hope you guys like it. Um, I think I did pretty good with it. Or whatever. So. I'm going to let y'all have the first bite. 
you can have the first bite. Mm. Yo, I'm so hungry. It is so good. Mm -hmm. So, I was trying to think of like different topics that I could talk about when doing this. Um, I was thinking about maybe just talking about like relationship goals and stuff. And like, what are you looking for in a relationship? And I don't mean, I don't mean just as far as a relationship with like a man and a woman or, you know, a intimate relationship. I just mean a relationship in general. Like what? What qualifications or what characteristics do you look for in a person when forming a relationship, like a friendship or even an intimate relationship? Um, for me, I feel like the first thing that I look for is honesty. I feel like if a person can't be honest with me. It's no need for us to even really be friends because at the end of the day or even in a relationship, like, I just feel like I can't be with no man if he can't keep it real with me. And that's just how I feel. They got shrimp, ham, celery, I mean, not celery, they got cabbage, it's so good, y'all, then they got big old shrimps in there, too, I had bought, like, four of these, But, yeah, I just feel like the number one thing for me that I look for, like, when I'm looking for, like, a friendship or a relationship, I would say would be honesty. Um, compatibility. Like, I want to be able to have fun with my friends or my man or whoever. Like, I want us to be able to get along. Like, we like the same stuff. You know, we can hold a conversation with each other. And it don't have to be on no craziness. Just like we could have a conversation about. Really anything you know. Like. And there's no awkward silence. Just having to sit. Talk about stuff. Just to have something to talk about. Right. Like, I want a relationship with a person that, like, I can talk about my life or, you know, talk about whatever my goals are, my aspirations. And that's another thing. Like, I don't want to just be around people who don't have no aspirations in life, don't have no goals, not trying to accomplish nothing. Like, I just feel like I'm wasting my own time by doing that. Because I'm trying to set goals in my life. I'm trying to accomplish things. And just hanging around with people who are not really on the same page as me, it just don't make no sense. Being in a relationship with a man who is not trying to accomplish anything with himself. It just really doesn't make no sense. I kind of wish I would have known these things a long time ago. But I feel like when I was younger, when I was younger, I was really kind of looking for love, looking for love from anyone who would show me that love, you know. 
And not to say I was desperate, but I don't know. I guess I just wanted love and I just accepted love or fake love or, you know, lies about love. I accepted that because I wanted this so bad. And now I'm good. Like, if I have to be by myself, then that's fine. And I'm okay with that. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. You know, I just roll with it. And I'll be okay. But at that time in my life, you know, I wanted love. And I pretty much accepted it. Even if it wasn't really love. Even if I knew it wasn't really love, I still accepted it. But it is what it is. You know? It just taught me to be a better person. It taught me what I wanted in relationships, friendships, and intimacy relationships. Um, like with that, you know, I was with this guy, you know, he didn't really want to be with me, and I knew that. I constantly questioned it, like, you sure you want to be with me? And he would always say, oh, yeah, you know, he want to be with me and this and that. But I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I felt like the way he treated me wasn't the way of a person who wants to be in a relationship with somebody. Like, I don't know. It was kind of distant, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just could tell. My intuition was just telling me basically he didn't want to be with me. But he, in his mouth, he was saying he wanted to be with me. But his actions kind of showed me that he didn't really want to be with me. But I was so stuck in what I was trying to do that I just accepted it because... You know, whatever. It is what it is. And I just roll with it. But you should never just roll with a relationship with somebody. And you can tell that that person does not want to be with you. Or if you feel that way, you don't need to be with that person. You need to let them know, I feel this way. And if that person, like I told that person how I felt. And that person continue to keep treating me the way that you know he was treating me and I just sat back and sat back and sat back until it was too late and I would keep telling the same thing over and over again you know and nothing wasn't changing but I never did nothing about it because I didn't want to go back home I kind of wanted to just be you know on my own independent and I just tried to stick out with the relationship, but at the point when you cheat on me, it was just kind of like, it is what it is, like, you know, do your thing. So, I don't know. And it just had got bad to the point where it was like, you know, he was bracing up on me, like he was about to knock me out. So, at that point, I'm like, you done cheated on me, then you bracing up on me, like he about to hit me. Baby is over with, so I went back home. I didn't want to have to go back home, but I do what I got to do. Because at the end of the day, I'm not about to let nobody, no man, no woman, and nobody else put their hands on me. And I'm damn sure not about to let no man put his hands on me and think it's cool. No. So what I did was I politely went back to my things and I left. I left him sitting right at the house with her. Looking stupid. But, I mean, all those things basically, you know, taught me what I'm willing to accept in a relationship. You 
Baby, that's a little egg roll, y'all. I'm gonna need me some more tea. I'm about to see if I can make that tea stretch until I eat my cookie, and then I'll just give me some water. But let me hurry up y'all because this video already 15 minutes and I don't want to have to edit it. I'm about to hurry up. But, you know. Everything in life is a lesson learned. I take the punches and I roll with it. You feel me? I don't let nothing knock me down to the point where I can't get back up. I feel like it's always something better that I can do with myself. I'm not going to stay down. I can't let myself stay down. For what? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to stay down and then you're going to be living your life. And I'm going to be up here looking stupid. Why are you living your life? No. I'm about to keep it moving. I'm doing my thing. And that's just how I feel about majority of the things in life, you know? You just gotta keep it pushing, baby. You can't let your life go and let your life pass you by behind somebody else wanna make a foolish mistake or somebody else wanna play games or you know, whatever. No, like, if you ain't gonna keep it real with me, if you're not gonna be loyal to me, if you're not gonna be honest with me, then keep it pushing. You feel me? Don't think. That I'm going to sit back and be a duck for nobody. Man, woman, or nobody. You feel me? You just got to roll with it and keep it moving. You know? And it's like... I mean, I'm not saying just leave a person. If you're in a relationship with somebody, I'm not saying just leave them. But if you constantly keep telling this person, I'm not liking the behaviors that you're doing. I'm not liking the fact that you always got people at the house. I don't like the fact that you always hanging with your homeboys or you always hanging with your homegirls. You know, like, I don't like the fact that you, we don't really do nothing. We don't really go nowhere and this and that. You know, or whatever the situation is. If you let that person know and that person still doing the same thing, what you told them you ain't really feeling, and you didn't told them multiple times. I say after the third time, are you telling them the the same thing, baby? Let it go, cause they ain't gonna change, and you can't change nobody. And that's one thing I learned: you cannot change no grown person mind. You can't change nobody mind. Period. They have to want to change for themselves, and until they want to change for themselves, they ain't gonna never change. So you wasting your own time trying to make somebody change, you know? Oh. So, in that case, all I can do is change myself. I ain't about to make no grown person do nothing. Period. I don't care who it is. I'm not about to force no grown person to do nothing. Point thing. Because. I don't want nobody to try to force me to be something that I'm not. I want to be myself. And if you don't like how I am, and you tell me, and if I genuinely care about you, and it is something that can be improved upon, I don't mind improving on myself. I'm not going to change my personality and my spirit for somebody, but I will change some characteristics Depending on what it is, you know, like, I don't know, just random shit, but not like changing the whole personality. I'm not going to change me. I'm not going to try to pretend to be someone else because you're insecure or you have some type of feelings. You know, I'm not going to know. I'm going to continue to be me. 
I'm going to continue to be friends with whoever I want to be friends with. I'm going to continue to be cool with whoever I'm cool with. And if you have a problem with it, we could talk about it. But that's not going to make me stop being friends with that person. That's not going to stop make me stop being cool with whoever I'm cool with. But I will listen to you. I will hear you out. Well, y'all, I was trying to avoid having to edit this video. Well, I may not have to edit it, but I do need to get up in a few seconds to go get me a bottle of water so I can eat my cooking. But I'm almost done. Only thing I have left is this little piece of egg roll, so I'm about to hurry up and eat this so I don't make the video too long. I want to keep it like at least under an hour and shit. I don't know. Cause it's already about to be 30 minutes i wanted to keep it i wanted it to be like 15 minutes but shoot it's already at 20 minutes now oh, let me hurry up i'm gonna get my walls low Should have warmed this up. I'm gonna try to eat it. Ooh. I warmed it up. It's nice and warm. Mm. It looks like it have caramel, chocolate, sea salt, pecans. Oh, maybe that's not sea salt. Maybe that's coconut. chocolate nice and melted mm. great suggestion Nicole oh. oh yeah that's sea salt I can taste it that is good mm. you know like sweet and savory I never had this cookie before. I never. This is my first time ever buying anything from Panera. I never been to Panera before. If y'all don't know, I'm a country girl, and it's fancy. I never spent four dollars on a cookie. Four dollars on a cookie, baby. 
But this is a good cookie, y'all. It's big. I'm trying to finish the whole thing. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I didn't realize how big it was. I got a full. Mm, this is so good, y'all. Hot. I had to put it in the microwave. Not bad. This ain't hot. I needed that water, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this whole cookie. Y'all. I miss the cookie. Y'all, I watched that video the other day. Her last live stream. I was so sad. Like, when she first passed away, I was so sad because I had missed her last live stream, you know? But I know that was my girl, like, I really fucked with her. Like, I swear, since she left, everything, like, changed. It's just, like, the whole vibe changed, you feel me? But it did bring me closer to some more people. Frank, CC, Clemmy, Music, Amy. You feel me, Miss Jane? Reds. Fate Squad. Duh. My fucking girl, you already know. I love y'all, man. For real. Y'all gotta try this. Well, y'all, I ate half the cookie. I'm tapped out. I can't eat my nose. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to in a mukbang. I hate my tongue. I don't know if in a mukbang I'm supposed to eat everything. But I did clean my plate. As you can see, I eat all of my food. I only could eat half of my dessert. Because I'm full and my stomach is full as a dick. I'm going to save this for later. I'm about to drink the rest of my tea and my water. And right, that's pretty much it. Well, you gotta. I said I wanted to keep it under 30 minutes, huh? Well, y'all, I don't really know nothing about no mukbang. I hope I did a good one. I'm not about to edit this video. I'm just about to post it like this. Oh, well. Well, you guys, I hope you found this video interesting. If you want to talk about any topics that I talked about in this video, relationships, you know, friendships, intimacy, leave a comment down below. I would love to interact with you guys, you know. I be trying to interact with everybody who comment on my videos. Um, If you want to connect with me on any of my social media platforms, I will leave that in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.